everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing really really well and yeah welcome back to another video so today um i'm actually very excited because i've been trying to do this for a very long time and i just kept procrastinating so apologies in advance but anyway <laughs> So today I am testing out and reviewing a few products from Pat McGrath. Um, I know it's it's just one of those luxury brands that not everyone um, you know uses every single day. But I was so intrigued that I really really wanted to try it out. So yeah, I've got a few products and we will I guess we'll crack on. So the products I have now. They have been lying in my desk, uh, my drawer, sorry, um, to be used and reviewed and what else, and they haven't been, poor things. Um, so it's slightly dirty, but I promise you I haven't used it. So um, I've got two things to show you today. Um, I have got Pavograph Labs uh, Mothership Sublime Golden Opulence Eyeshadow Palette, um, and this is what it looks like, very luxurious. Um, because of the, if you can see, because of the texture of um, the packaging, it's actually got some of my fingerprints on top of it. Only because I kept touching this and putting it away with my foundation fingers. Um, and I, I've been very, very good. And I haven't tried this even once. I have obviously opened it to see what the colours are like. But I haven't swatched them, I haven't used them, uh, so I'm very excited. Uh, and the second thing I have is um, these mini lipsticks. Um, I've cut the corner off here so we can access them. Um, they're very peculiar, so there are three lipsticks in here and it comes with these sequins. I'm not really sure what I need to do with the sequins. I've seen a few, vid uh, a few videos of Pat McGrath and what she's done is um, She's actually labelled, not labelled, she has actually stuck these on um, to like lips and it's obviously like a really dramatic kind of thing. So um, yeah, so we are going to be trying the lipsticks and the eyeshadows today. So when we open the pack, pack, um, so when we open this up, this is what it looks like from inside. So it's got six colours. Um, a very very big huge mirror I don't know what to do with this though because obviously it helps it close but anyway uh, it's very luxurious packing and if you can see uh, the way they've they've um, made it is you need to put this like this to so hold it in it's not very practical I will say but obviously they're charging so much for it so they have to do something different don't they <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so it comes in six colours. Um, the colour names are behind here, but they doesn't really say which colour is which. So there's Eternal Opulence, Tranquility, Lotus Lux, Prosperity, Moon Phase and Gold Fortune. So obviously the Gold Fortune would obviously be the gold one and the Eternal Opulence would probably be this one. Uh, but the rest is just like a guess game. So let's do some swatches. I want to do, so it comes, it has one, two, three, four glitter colors and then two, um, two mattes. And these are the two mattes. They look really high pigmented. Oh wow, look at that. And I literally just very slightly touched it okay um i'm sorry for the lighting today's bit is a very very cloudy day and the sun keeps coming and going so i apologize in advance so we will just be doing um the eyes for now and then i'll do the rest of my face later on so i've got my eye primer on uh, which is the urban decay one which i usually use to start off with i'm just going to use um oh god it's really difficult to hold this um so i'm going to use this colour, oh, this colour over here, uh, which is like um, a neutral brown colour. I mean, the packing is really nice, but honestly. Right, so we'll go right into the crease there. Ooh. Okay, so 
on camera it looks really, really dark. I think it's because of the lighting, honestly. Um, but the colour is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a really nice um, blending in transition colour. And it's going on so nicely. We'll do a whole eye first and then I'll do the other one off camera. Um, and then I think to... Um, honestly, also, I look like I look... <laughs> I look like someone's bruised my eye um, but because I obviously haven't done any makeup in my on my dark circles it looks really horrendous uh, but I promise you it will look much much nicer once we've done the whole face anyway so I will then go in with the darker color here just using the same brush uh, this is actually a real techniques base shadow brush so I'm just going to put that in the outer V So I need to put something on the rest of the eye and obviously that is going to be um, a glitter. So before we do that, I just want to do a swatch of all of these colours first and then we can decide. So these are the four colours and oh my god that is absolutely gorgeous. I really like this one. Um, this one I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, I don't know, but I really do like this one. This is really, really nice. It's like a very light peachy pink, yet goldy colour, very soft. That was very und <laughs> underwhelming. I think because I really do need to just use my finger. Um, because they're so soft, it almost felt like it just got stuck onto the brush. That is much, much better. Um, and again, I've only used a very, very tiny amount um, on my finger because they are so, so soft. I'm just thinking these would look absolutely beautiful if, they, if I use them wet. Um, but I don't want to use them wet because I mean, when you're when you're using such an expensive palette, you don't want to like you want to use them as they are. Um, so in theory, they should be absolutely fabulous, just the way they are. Um, again, the gold one is quite nice as well, and they like they blend in really nicely together. Um, that gold is beautiful. That gold is really nice. I like that. And then I want to use like the very champagne colour right here. That is nice. That is really nice. Can you see that? Oh, ooh, can you see that? That is nice. I like that. Oh my god. Look at the fallout guys. That is just of the gold one. Um that should not be happening, Pamograph. That should not be happening. Okay, so I have done my other eye as well. Um, so far, I am impressed, but not at this level of, like, I'm not wowed. Um, I'm, I mean, I've done similar looks like this before as well, to be honest, oops, <laughs> with uh, much, much um, cheaper products. So I can't really say that I'm extremely wowed. However, um, once you've done the whole makeup and you know we've absolutely finished the eyes then we will see how it goes so okay so I am back now with the rest of my face done except for the eyes uh, sorry except for the lips and um, so I've done let me zoom in so my on my under eyes I've only just added um, the crease color which was this light brown one um, just under the eye and I haven't done my mascara yet but I do want to show you what the eyes look like now I did was I used the inner corner colour which was this one as my highlighter and can you see can you see how beautiful that is that is absolutely gorgeous I'm also really really tempted to use this bright pink colour on my cheek um, 
I'm a bit scared, but I really want to. Should I? I will. Um, like a very light. Oh my god, that's really dark. Let's see if that works. Oh no, that was a mistake. Abort mission. Abort mission. Better, slightly, a bit. Um, I'm sorry, guys. This is this is a mess. I am a mess. Um. Anyway, um, so with the eyes, what I do want to do though is use that same pink, the dark one, and put that next to the yellow, almost like overlapping it. So uh, I'm going to line my lips first with my NYX pencil. So for lipsticks um i don't know what's happening today the camera's not working properly and the lighting's awful and then i opened my my packet so i opened this thing and for some reason one of my lipsticks rolled somewhere and i have been looking for it for about half an hour and i can't find it so and I do want to finish this before the sun goes down, so I'm really sorry guys. If I find the third one, which I hopefully I will find, um, <laughs> I'll put a swatch here somewhere for you. But until then, uh, we'll just work with these two. So uh, these are the mini lipsticks, they're not full size. Um, they are I think limited edition, let me check actually. Um, so they are called Mini Matte Trans Skin Show Trio uh, Limited Release First Edition. Um, and these are Omi 1995 and Flesh 3. I think the one that's rolled somewhere, God knows where, is the 1995. And I have Omi and Flesh 3 with me here. So this is Omi. And this is what it looks like. And then this is flesh three and this is what this looks like so the very they are very similar this one's lighter and this one's slightly darker so let me oh that was soft oh that was really soft um really really soft right so um this is like obviously like a dark that's actually really dark this is like a dark brown and this one is like a light peachy one so I will try both of these on for you. Let's start with the light one which is called Omi. Am I supposed to taste them? It's a bit weird. Um, this is so nice. They are so lightweight and so creamy matte. You can't even like, you literally cannot feel them on your lips. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, but let's check the dark one as well. Let's quickly take this off. And this one, which is Flesh 3, definitely a very nice autumn colour. Obviously, it's not going with the eye, with the eye at the moment because um, it's quite dark. But this is lovely. Very nice. Also, I just realised I haven't done my mascara. So... <laughs> Let's do that as well. What is happening today? What is today about? I mean, is it just is it me, or is like today is one of those days where everything is going absolutely here, there, and everywhere? Um, in case you're wondering, I am using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, uh, False Lash Effect Mascara. Um, also, I. The other day, I was watching a video of um, a lady called Zabrina. She's actually really, really lovely. Um, she's based in the US, and um, she was doing some uh, like a hacks video. And she mentioned in a hack video that if you don't put um, mascara on your lower lash line, it actually helps your eyes and your eyes like, like your eyes look brighter 
okay gang that was the finished look i hope you guys like this um if i if i have to say something about uh, the products the lipsticks i absolutely absolutely love um the texture of these are beautiful um they do remind me a bit of like the charlotte tilbury ones but i don't want to say that i don't i don't want to say it but they do a little bit um i've heard the huda beauty ones are quite similar i haven't tried those so i can't really say the palette now for what it costs i don't think it's worth it i I don't know I can't really make up my mind um, only because a the, pra the practicality of it it just doesn't appeal to me um, it's a beautiful looking palette um, I think it's something that you can maybe like give as a gift um, and it will be like something that you that you that you treasure for a long time but in terms of actually getting the use out of it like I would not travel with this is what I'm trying to say it's got a really nice mirror excellent you know that's really nice that's obviously a plus um, but do you really need this no maybe some of the other ones um, that are slightly less bulky I think those might be better to use but this one I don't think so I don't think I would rush you know and get some more of these palettes I'm not saying that palettes are bad I'm just saying that you don't need it, especially considering the price. Um, you can easily get something else for your money. And um, the quality is definitely there, but I just don't see the need, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sorry to the guys, today has been an absolute nightmare. Um, yeah, the lighting and the camera and my um, my brain basically um, so I'm going to end this here now um, I really do hope you guys like this please do subscribe because it helps me out massively and it's free so why wouldn't you and um, yeah I will see you guys in another video until then take care and bye